The 21-22 Air Force hockey team rode a roller coaster for the entire season. Each game had fans on the edge of their seats as 21 of their 36 games were decided by one goal or ended in ties. 12 of those went into overtime. The overtime games started with key matchups in non-conference play, the first in the very first game with Michigan State. This is Digby coming in. Digby's feeding off from Willie Ryan. Bingo! Air Force wins it in overtime. Mr. Overtime gets the job done. A bad line change by Michigan State. They was a three on two for Air Force. Digby was out there to make the pass and Willie Rhyme buries the game winner in overtime. Fifth game winner of his career for the junior from North Oaks, Minnesota. Air Force wins it 3-2. While beating a Big Ten team certainly lifts the spirits, topping crosstown rival Colorado College does even more for the heart. This one again went to overtime. Weigel gets to it first, sends it to the other side, and look out, right out in front for a shot. Picked up by Colorado College, Byro has it, and a bad pass taken away by Air Force. This is going to be Gavin, he wins the game! Will Gavin, hat trick, Air Force 5, Colorado College 4 in overtime. The Falcons played through their inexperience as well as key injuries and somehow kept themselves above water in Atlantic hockey. A push was still needed by mid-January, and this team put together a nice stretch, winning six of eight games, sweeping Niagara and Mercyhurst, then topping Army and Canisius in, you guessed it, overtime. Falcons pick it up in the circle near side. Parker Brown has it to Horn. Horn, another wraparound. Try, and he scores! Nate Horn! Power play goal, we are tied. But a huge goal for the sophomore from Elk River, Minnesota. Seventh of the season for Nate Horn and a much needed one. We are going to overtime at Cadet Ice Arena by Marshall Plunkett. He skates all the way back to the Air Force end with a minute to go in overtime. Now a long pass, they get it to Cook. Cook with a shot, and Cook across to Horn! He scores! Air Force wins it. Air Force wins it. Air Force three, Army two, and they are going crazy at Cadet Ice Arena. Nate Horn gets the goal. What a terrific pass from his own goal line by Jake Marty. Marty to Cook starts the two on O. Cook over to Horn and Nate Horn second of the game. Eighth of the season. It's a game winner and it is a huge one. The Atlantic hockey standings were too close to call as Air Force faced rival RIT in the regular season finale. Both of those games each needed extra time. The second went into the extra frame scoreless. The Tigers with the two on one in the overtime, a feed across, fumbled by Calverly as he made a move in front of Alex Schilling. Rhyme coming in, taking a shot, save made by Scarfoni, leaves a big rebound. The rebound is loose out front and it's tapped in. Goal, Air Force, Nate. Horn, Air Force, wins it in overtime. Bingo! What a way to close out the home schedule in the regular season. And Alex Schilling is getting mobbed by his goaltending friends on senior night. Schilling picks up an overtime victory. An overtime shutout win for Alex Schilling, who's taking a lap, a victory lap right now. Good job, Shields. That win secured sixth place and a first round bye, but a trip to Army was in the cards. Why not play two more overtime games? Gavin still has the puck, makes a move, he drops it out front, shot, Robinson, redirected out front, goal Air Force. Never got close. Brennan gets it back, top of the circle, indirect pass, and that's a goal for Air Force. Blake Bride wins it in overtime, 5-5. Four. That's an Air Force win. Falcons keep it alive at the blue line. They'll send it into the near corner. Shot score, Air Force. That's going to be Austin Schwartz, who just tied this hockey game. They try to chip it out of there. The Falcons hold it in. They fire one at the net, and it goes in. It goes in. Air Force three, Army two in overtime. That was Parker Brown with the game-winning goal in overtime. Parker Brown, the sophomore, first career game-winning goal, and it sends Air Force to the Atlantic Hockey Final Four next week.
The Wins were number six and seven in the extra session on the season and marked the fifth time the Falcons had ended the Black Knights' year in the playoffs. Amazingly, Army has never ended a season for the Falcons. That set up a rematch with RIT in the Atlantic semifinals in Utica, New York. By row, row to Gavin. Falcons break in. Gavin left wing comes down, fires, and lights the lamp. Will Gavin bingo? And it's one nothing Air Force. To be careful, almost a takedown for a penalty. Comes free. The chance. Block in front. Another chance in front. They score. And this game's tied at one. Parker Brown drive, tip out in front, Scarfoni say, it goes in, it goes in, it goes in. Power play goal, Air Force. I will send it across to the left side. Now he'll exchange, take it, and shoot it, and score! It's a tie game, and it's a power play goal. We go the other way, now Cook with the drive, and he scores! BK, Brandon Cook, goal Air Force on the power play, and it's 3-2, Falcons. And they will get it out to Lucas Kuhn. And he lost the handle, look out. It's a break, shot, scores! Brady Hobbs ties the game, it's 3-3. Kept alive by Air Force, back to Rowe. Rowe gets it to Cook, he fires away, and Brandon Cook lights the lap, and Air Force goes back on top, it's 4-3 Falcons. Boy, have a night, Brandon Cook, the junior from Hastings, Minnesota. The win marked the eighth time Air Force would play for the Atlantic Hockey title, but perhaps none more remarkable than this one. We are the youngest team uh, in this league uh, by a country mile, uh, but we've become a, a pretty experienced team uh, over the course of the season with all these young guys uh, getting a tremendous amount of experience. I couldn't be uh, more proud of, of my guys, uh, of my players, and my coaching staff uh, to this point. In Air Force hockey is all about second halves. I don't know. How many times Frank has told me that uh, he's never really been a great, great starter. Uh, uh, play a lot of tough competition, and it just feels uh, the second half push. A buzzing set of AIC Hornets met the Falcons in the Atlantic final, ending a marvelous late season run. But no one could remove the accomplishments from a team picked to finish ninth in the preseason poll. This team's only loss to graduation is a big one, as Alex Schilling will vacate the pipes. He closes his career after playing in 75 games and making more than 1,500 saves. Team captain Luke Rowe, third-team all-conference player Brandon Cook, and leading scorer Will Gavin will return as the Falcons look to use the late-season success as a springboard into next season.